All right, this is uh, the third tutorial of Aspen Hysis and uh, in this tutorial we are going uh, to very crudely and very basically talk about the separator in Aspen Hysis. Uh, for that I quickly switch to the problem definition. You have uh, a crude oil in the inlet with the pressure of 10 bar with the flow rate of uh, 2400 kilogram per hour which has uh, the inlet DP, the pressure drop across the inlet of one bar. And then we would like to find out uh, the gas flow rate, the oil flow rate and the water rate um, at the outlet of this separator. Uh, we have to mention that uh, the vapor uh, pressure drop is also around nine bar. Let's get to Aspen Hysis very quickly and uh, define the component list. Uh, for this problem, I would like to define uh, the compositions from C1 to C7. And then, of course, I would like to have some water. Okay. And then for the fluid package, uh, I'm going to choose SRK as before. Uh, here it is. And then we are ready to go to simulation. So in the simulation, uh, I'm looking for the separator three phase. So here is the three phase separator. I just drag and drop it here. And then I double click on that. Um, you have to give a name for the inlet, for your inlet stream. I just call it crude oil. And then for the vapor, you have to give it also a name, a gas. And then for the light liquid, which is oil. And then the heavy liquid, which is water, right? Um, of course, you have a lot of uh, options here. You have uh, reactions, ratings, and under ratings, you have um, a lot of different sizing information, nozzle information, and heat loss and level taps information. Of course, if you have all those information, you can um, input it, you can insert it in this uh, uh, model, but uh, this is a very crude uh, example we are just going to work with the basics therefore we don't bother with that so that's more or less for it for the design the only thing i have to specify as well is um, the parameters for the delta p as i said in the inlet i have the pressure drop of around one bar and for the vapor outlet which is here i have the pressure drop of nine bar okay cool uh, let's define the pressure inlet of 13 bar. I think 10 bar is, uh, is, is not going to work because if you have 13 bar here, if you have only 10 bar here and then one bar pressure drop across uh, the inlet, then you have nine bar and then your gas outlet uh, is going to be zero bar, which doesn't make sense. So let's make it 13 bar, okay? All right. Then I have to specify some inputs for my inlet. All right. If I double click on that, uh, I mean the conditions, as I said, the temperature, let's put it to 30 degrees. The pressure, as I said, 13 bar for the inlet and the mass flow, if you remember, was 2,400 kilogram per hour. Okay. And then I have to specify the composition. All right, this doesn't really matter. We just want to have uh, some random numbers. Let's put one 10% methane. I don't know, 20% ethane, 15%, uh, 0.1, water around one. If it's above 100%, of course, you can come back and normalize it. Uh, just don't worry, I'll fix it later. And then, If you see, the total is 1.40 and then I just normalize it. So it will distribute it between all the components. All right, cool. Now we have also the composition defined. I just click OK. And uh, as you see, this is uh, turned green, which means the simulation is done. Let's look at some, some of the numbers and see what we really have got. If I look at the table, for the gas and then look at the table for the oil 
and then look at the table for the water. All right, as expected. So let's show this table as well. Okay, so the inlet pressure was 13 bar. We had a pressure drop of one bar, then it became 12. And then you have nine bar pressure drop across the gas nozzle, which turned out to be three at the outlet, which makes sense. And the same for oil and water, which you had only one bar pressure drop. So the vessel pressure was 12 bar and therefore the pressure outlet was 12 bar. You can also see that uh, uh, with this molar flow uh, as the inlets, how much gas, oil and water is separated. If you don't like the kilogram mole per hour, of course, um, you can change it to um, you can change it to mass flow, for example. All right, here is the mass flow. And you can see You can see that out of 2,400 kilogram per hour of crude oil, uh, 142 kilogram per hour is separated as gas. And of course, I can do the same for oil and water to see how much oil and water is separated. You can also sh you can also show table for the whole separation system. Okay. It gives the overall information of how this has performed. As we see, the vessel pressure is 12 bar, the vessel temperature is around 29 bar, and uh, liquid molar flow of 34.77, which is oil, and um, you didn't have any uh, heat loss. We didn't have the energy calculation here. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you.